Hello, this is Grant Rogers with One Word Video. I just want to show you how freeze frames, how to use them in Final Cut 10. This is something that they added in one of their updates, their uh, 0.6 update. It's uh, something they used to have. It is a great feature. It's great to see it back. So with no further ado, let's show you how it works. So we're going to take this clip here. We're going to put it down on the timeline. I just pushed the E key and it'll put it over there. I like using hotkeys. I'll try to show you what I know in hotkeys um, if you don't not familiar with them. So let's say you wanted to take this clip and as the door opens and we see our villain, uh, we wanted to create a freeze frame right at that spot there. Uh, it's as simple as doing this, stopping it, the playhead at that, go to edit and go down to add freeze frame and bang, click on it and you have a freeze frame. Now the duration of this is set to four seconds which is set in the preferences which you can change but if you want you can just drag it to whatever you want. Uh, I'll show you another cool little feature that I use quite a bit is if I select this whole clip and I push control D for duration if you remember that D for duration it shows me how long right here that clip is. That clip is three seconds and four frames. Because it's highlighted right now I can switch it down to let's say I wanted it to two seconds. I would just punch in two seconds and push enter and all of a sudden now that clip is a two second freeze frame. So if we start this, we play it, the door opens, it freezes on our villain and then our villain comes in. This was for a silent movie type thing that we were doing. Um, also another thing that you might want to do is add a freeze frame on the end. Let's say you wanted a, the transition to uh, stop or f fade out at the very end. So if I go like this and actually stop the playhead there, I know I'm on the last frame by seeing this little sprocket on the side here. That shows me that I'm at the very end of that. Then I can go edit and add freeze frame. Bang, I have it there. I'm going to shorten this down to two seconds. So I push control D for duration to enter two seconds and there it is. I can actually add a fade out by pushing uh, command T on the end of it and it will add a transition uh, and there it is right there. I'm going to just whoops, try to lengthen that a tiny bit and uh, so that when it ends, if we go back and watch this clip, um, our it fades through. Now another thing I want to show you quickly about freeze frames is that you can actually add a freeze frame from the event browser. So let's say you wanted to add a clip. This is uh, not what I would do with this but this is more for an example is our damsel she's yelling out. Let's say there was that frame I wanted to actually add as a connected clip. What I can do is stop um, in the event browser as I was viewing that stop on that frame right there. All I have to do is go edit and connect freeze frame and bang it click it adds it right down onto the timeline you can take this clip you can move it around you can shorten it you can add effects to it if I wanted to colorize it I can double click the colorize from the effects folder and cause that single frame to be colorized not that I would do that but just to show you that it is something that you can do with it. So that's basically how freeze frames. You can create and do whatever you want with your own thing. I'm Grant Rogers with One Word Video Production, and uh, that is how you use freeze frames. Good to see him back.